I'm sure that most of my audience has probably seen the pictures and heard of this kind of freak natural event that goes on down in Antarctica. Um, microbes that appear red in color um, coming out of the ice, and they called it blood falls and all this kind of stuff. As you can see here from a picture, it's really a lot more brown and tan, and here's a more up-close picture. You know, it's very close, but we can definitely tell the difference between the, the iron oxide, these microbes, and what looks like something totally different. And I found that totally very different thing on YouTube. But before we go there, I want to show you something on not Google Earth Pro this time, but Google Earth Web Base. Now, I was just here looking for the location of those falls just to show you that what I'm going to show you later isn't that. But when I pulled it up, I saw this white square. And I thought, hmm, I looked at the location. I'm like, well, we've kind of been here before, but I'll see what they're trying to cover up. You're not going to believe this. Now, I want you guys to explain this to me, logically. That's clearly a shadow of something. And that something is not a natural formation at all. Look at this. Look at the clear, distinct points. This is either a building of some type, perhaps some kind of an ancient structure, or perhaps some type of a vessel. You can see part of it over here, too. And these shapes are very clear and very distinct. These aren't natural. This isn't some mountain ridge. Look at this. Our location here is... 76 degrees, 52 minutes, 27 seconds south, 149 degrees, 55 minutes, 49 seconds west. At, uh, it's saying camera 4206 meters. So I'm not, it reads out a little bit different on the web-based Google Earth than it does on Google Earth Pro. But there is no flipping way that we are looking at the shadow of something natural here. And the measurement on this line, real quick, is almost a mile. A little over, actually. 5,538 feet. I think 5,250 feet is a mile, so a little over a mile. And then, of course, over here, I've got it off the screen. We have this part as well. This is not, don't, no way. There is no way this is the shadow of something natural. Clearly they have covered something up here. They covered up the actual thing, but they forgot about the position of the sun and didn't cover up the shadow. If someone can explain some other explanation for it, I'd love to hear it. This isn't some kind of body of water. There's no way it would appear this way. It's not ice. It's not land. It's not a hole. And as you can see, they were clearly trying to, it looks like, cover it up. Here's an extra white piece over here. And as you zoom in, there's no way. Clearly artificial and clearly nothing like I've ever seen. But without any further ado, let's get to Google Earth Pro. The things that I found today are absolutely striking. It's just beyond words. Now, real quick, that place that I showed earlier, those falls, the, the iron ones, they're way over here. The, it's called the, um, I think the something glacier, I can't remember, but it's Lake Bonnie. And it's way over here, but what I found is actually up here. Now, what I did here was, instead of 2012, where I normally go, I actually went back to December of 2010. Now, here was our original green crescent, okay, that we covered before. And everyone's very familiar with this from the last video we did. But I found more green patches. 
more pronounced green patches. Over here. Clearly, this is a deep, dark shade of green. And the way this is cut out, kind of square right here, doesn't seem to me like that's uh, very natural. And as we go up the coast here, we find more of what look like trees and shrubs and bushes completely surrounded by ice. I mean, look at this, just these two perfect patches where clearly there's some type of a heat source, something's melting away the ice and the snow. And not only, there's clearly got to be some kind of seed work down there going on. And you can follow this up the coast. Now this isn't even the craziest part of the video yet. Will you see what I found? Now, I n named these just what came to my head. Does someone want to explain this to me? Now, I showed you the picture before. This is clearly not brown. And it's not the area they're talking about. This is a deeper, darker, rich, violet color. And it's not just here. And of course, it's covered up. You can see this. It's kind of hard to get it to pick up here, but this whole region here, this whole square region, if you go here yourself, you'll see the pink under the snow. All through this region. I'll start here. This location that I have for uh, blood-soaked inlet. Let's see what I have here for it. Alrighty, I'll move this over in front so people can see. 75 degrees, 54 minutes, 10.15 seconds south, 162 degrees, 35 minutes, 24.01 seconds east. Now this is December 30, 2010. This will not show up this way in any other year on Google Earth Pro. So this is 2010, not 2012. So we'll close this out. And just right above it... Oh, and of course it's not going to show up now in 2010. Unbelievable. This whole area, there it is, got it. Look at this. This is uh, 2005. I have this at January 1, 2005, to get this to show up. What in the world is this? And this location is... 75 degrees, 52 minutes, 54.13 seconds south, 162 degrees, 38 minutes, 32.9 seconds east. I'll get these down in the description, so don't feel like you need to write those down. So yeah, now we're back on 2005 here. And this is everywhere. And this is not that same stuff. There's no way. I haven't heard this reported anywhere else. And like I said, the names are just things that I was, was thinking up. It was... Uh... Here we have a mix of both the, the purple and the violet. I have absolutely no explanation for this, and it doesn't look even remotely natural. 
here's an entire island. I'll zoom out to get a little better perspective. And up here, an entire river of this stuff. Let's see where the part I have marked is. Yeah, I just named it the Venal River just because it seemed like it matched. Up here, it makes this awkward, very weird. It looks like somebody cut this out, 90 degree bend. And this thing runs four miles, as you can see. And it is a deep, dark shade of blood red. You know, I never even bothered to look at this closer. I was going to. You would think whatever this is would be blocking this. But clearly it doesn't. And you can see, I'll zoom out as far as I can here, how far this blood red river River that just dead ends here. Oh, by the way, this is where they decide to stop revealing it. And of course, you can see, but the crack goes on forever. Which brings us back to here, where we started. Just absolutely mind-boggling stuff. And funny, it all kind of ends right here, where, of course, now you see here, look, in 2005, you can't get this to uncover. You've got to jump back up to 2010. So like I said, they are hiding things in time, thinking that people won't put it together. Now look at this. Just randomly, out in the middle of this giant ice sheet, here's just this perfect little patch of greenery. And let's, let's just see how big this is real quick. Point oh one miles. This is 33 feet across. This is this tiny little patch of green. Just out of nowhere. This larger patch down here is, okay, that's a little bit bigger, 750 feet across here. Just completely inexplicable. And it's not just, like I said, one place. Because we just found this one, and this is the one from the other day. That, like I said, you see at this distance, you can't see it. And not even in other years can you see it. And somebody had mentioned they saw this little black part right here. Looks like an observation deck, or something like that. Maybe like the duck blind from that, uh, what was that movie, the Star Trek movie, where they were watching the inhabitants of... Insurrection, I think it was. I'll do a measurement on this and we'll get out of this, but it is uh, very strange, the things that are going on in Antarctica right now. 267 feet, roughly. And like I said, I will get all of these down in the description. But like I said, all of these things that I've shown you up here from the beginning of the river all the way down to the Green Crescent, um, long way away, long way away from the Red Falls, where they've been reporting this in the mainstream media about um, the microbe issue. But one more time, we'll go back to that issue on... This is Google Earth, web-based. This enormous mile-wide shadow of a building or a ship, I can't figure out. I'm My money's on building. These, these shapes are just too specific 
to be anything else. I, I don't know how you could derive anything but, but unnatural from this. And clearly they were attempting to cover it up, and they just didn't take into account the position of the sun and how far the shadows would cast. That's the only reason we're seeing this. So, anyway, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.